Dr. Cater, thank you for taking part in this interview. Could you please start by explaining your background and your current role? Sure. Uh, my name is Mohamed Kato. I'm a medical doctor by training. After spending uh, five years working in UK and other countries as a physician, I joined the pharmaceutical since 17 years. Uh, during these 17 years, I worked at many international companies, uh, starting with Schering Plow, Schering AG, and Bayer Healthcare at a different managerial positions. My last position uh, now is as a head of marketing sales operation within the region EMEA in Bayer. Uh, before that, I spent nearly four years working in the headquarters in Berlin uh, in Bayer Healthcare, covering many of the mature market, and I joined EMEA region since uh, one year ago as a head of marketing sales operation. And what changes have you noted in Salesforce effectiveness during your career? Uh, in fact, it started, it had a dramatic change actually. I could divide that into three stages. In the first stages, we were mainly concerned about the sales for sizing, so we were concentrating about to improve the targeting methodology, how to uh, try to optimize our sales for size, how to better train and put a kind of a good incentive for the people. But the second stage came when we already combined sales force effectiveness with marketing excellence, or let us say customer excellence in which you are speaking now about P&I optimizations, you are now trying to touch, to include customer behavior and attitude into your segmentation methodology. Also, you started to, uh, to, uh, to uh, initiating KOL management, also implementing uh, customer relationship management system. The third stage, which we started nearly one year and a half ago, in which you find that now we can combine both sales excellence and marketing excellence to form what we call new innovative commercial business model. The best example of that is key account management, in which you are now, instead of targeting only customers or just physicians, you are now targeting account. And in these cases, you have better defined the account, how to segment your key account, how to put a kind of stakeholder mapping with the key account, and how to put a kind of key account plan and objectives. Uh, this key, key account management is a kind of merger of the previous two stages. Okay, and what are the benefits of streamlining the Salesforce to achieve a customer-centric approach? Uh, you know, we are obliged now to be very close to our customers, not only because of the new regulations, but also limited, the, the access is limited now to physicians. We are facing very tough competition from generics. And so to become very customer-centric, very close to our customer is the key objective for a company. It's not a kind of luxurious process. Mm -hmm. When you are going to streamline the sales force, it is already matching with the normal attitude of sales force effectiveness. And instead of working with thousands of sales force, you are now trying to better optimize the structures. And that should be adapted to the customer behaviors and attitude and needs. And for that reason, you will better achieve your objectives, maximize the profit gained, by being very close to your customers using certain methodology, process, and tools. And that also will match uh, the objective of the companies to maximize profitability. And what have been your key learnings from implementing a customer-centric sales force? In fact, the first learning, in the beginning, everybody will be a little bit cautious to adopt a close uh, or a customer-centric approach. Everybody want to work with the normal methodology, the old approach. But when you started to implement that and you discover that you could discover a huge amount of opportunities just by being very close to your customers and being uh, very uh, implementing also the closed loop marketing in which everybody working with these customers will see uh, what's happening with the customers and try to tailor a specified message accordingly. So you incorporate medical marketing salespeople who are dealing with these customers, key customers. That produced a huge amount of opportunities, actually. In the beginning, nobody would expect that you could gain more than you could gain from the traditional sales model. But being very close to your customers, able to discover the hidden opportunities, you will gain a huge amount of support from your customers. And how do you go about identifying sales tactics and tools that will result in greater cost effectiveness? They start first by a deep analysis of the as is situations. And in this case, my advice is to ask your feed force first. Don't depend on your gut feeling or the managerial attitude. Start by discussing with your sales force who already are very close in contact, close contact with your key customers. Try to identify what needs to be done to improve our traditional model. 
And doing, by doing that, then you started to incorporate the managerial, the managers and the others. And the second thing is try to benchmark what you are doing to what's happening in the industry, taking the advice of your customers on what you are going to do, even in advance. Not, be, not necessary that you start to implement something and then you ask them. You start to ask them and discuss with your key customers, key opinion leaders. What do you think is the most advanced thing that we could modify our approach to better achieve our result? Let us be a very, we mentioned before, the customer-centric approach. Even for identifying the sales tactic, we are eager to ask our customers. And what impact do you see e-communication having on how the sales force operates? Dramatic uh, change, actually. But the most important part is with whom you are going to use the e-communications. So I will speak very practically about what we did even in Bayer. We started first by revising our segmentation and targeting methodology to identify which segment you are going to target or to tackle with the e-communications. Instead of saying we could use e-communication with everybody, we reserve the e-communication to certain segment of customers who already prefer this type of communications. Uh, the importance of e-communications, I think it is much, much broader than we are now measuring nowadays. Because if you are speak about e-detailing, e-learning, closed-loop marketing, even using some of uh, alternative channels to communicate with your patient, with your payer. So I think e-communications in, in the very near future, within the next coming five years, will go to replace the traditional sales force. Maybe you are moving a little bit to the specialist field force, in which you will have one product specialist who is covering a large area, and he is using many e-communications to deal with certain segments or certain customers. And what are your top tips for measuring the efficiency of a new commercial model once implemented? I could guess first, business-wise, of course, to achieve to improve your top line and bottom line. Mm -hmm. But I do believe that we should incorporate other qualitative measures to, to measure the efficiency of our new commercial models, like customer acceptance, customer satisfactions. Maybe because I'm, I'm speaking also from realistic experiences, if you do have a, a number of uh, launched product, newly launched product, maybe you should incorporate something like introduction of your product and the formulary, how much you're going to gain in initial uh, marketing of your product. So try to include as much as you can, many qualitative plus the quantitative. But for the business side, we are using top line and bottom line improvement as the main KPIs or to say measuring point for uh, to measure the efficiency of our commercial model. And how do you see the sales force model evolving over the next few years? We are moving continuously to a kind of specialized sales force, key account management. Key account managers will be the key target, the key constituent of any company. We are not going to work anymore with the traditional sales force. Even we may mix the whole product, let us say a mature product or new launched product, because you will need different kind of skills and competencies to promote each, each set of product. So I do believe that we are going to leave completely what we are working as we are, the traditional sales force. We are moving to a key account manager, specialized force, even mixing the product portfolio to have a kind of two separate mature product versus newly launched one. Dr. Cater, thank you for your time and for your insights today. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.